Well, don't just stand there. Invite a lady in. My God, from the looks of you, you'd think you'd just seen a ghost. What's the matter? Didn't think you'd ever hear from me again? After the way we left things? <laughs> That's typical. You always were one for loose ends and unfinished business. You couldn't even lace your own boots without me around to help you. So is this where you're staying, then? I asked around every bar and bookstore in town after you. I mean, you weren't that hard to find, no. Did you think you'd done a good job covering your tracks? You didn't. I know you too well. Doesn't matter how long we've been apart, I will always find you. I promised you that, didn't I? Back before you went and broke my heart. The hell you didn't! wasn't me who walked away from the dock and left you to travel alone. So are you going to offer me a drink, or have you forgotten all your manners? Thank you. Ugh. Cheap whiskey. Yeah, you really haven't changed. Oh, and me with such expensive taste. We really were doomed from the beginning, weren't we? Anyway... I didn't come here just to yank your chain. Well, I came to check up on you. I heard some things about the way you were living, and I got curious, so in spite of my better judgment, here I am. I thought about sending a letter or something like that, sure, but... Well, I couldn't trust you to even read it, let alone reply. And I... Couldn't leave it that way. Well enough alone. Really? You really just say that to me? What happened to you? You used to be all piss and vinegar. No one could say anything to you you didn't like without a brawl and a bounty following after you. Now you're like, I don't know. You wanted to go straight, live by the law. <laughs> There's no way in hell you'd ever catch me doing that. We, we really had something going. We were almost home free. Remember, we were going to go off on our own, find a group of good, honest bad guys, make a name for ourselves. That was the dream, right? Or was I talking to someone else under the stars when we still rode with that gang of miscreants? <laughs> Was I wrapped up in someone else's arms after a big take, thinking about the future? No. It was you. It's always been you. But you've gone so soft, I can hardly see the edges of the person I knew. I mean, a city? Really? It smells here. And not like the great outdoors. It smells like bullshit, comfort, complacency. Did we not dream about taking from the rich pigs that occupy cities like this and giving to the poor folk in the countryside? I mean, if I didn't still love you so much, you'd make me sick to my damn stomach. I see that look. The one where you're not sure you want to hit me or kiss me. It's good to know I still have such a uh, big effect on you. <laughs> I was hoping that would be the case, yeah. Because I want you to come with me. Yes, even after you abandon me. As much as it pains me to admit it, I never stop thinking about you. I know, it's been months now, and I should have given up hope long ago, but I just can't. Not without trying at least one last time to shake you out of this dull existence. Aren't you tired of being surrounded by bankers and liars? At least the way we used to live, you knew someone hated you by the way they tried to shoot you. Here? 
people just play pretend and sneak around. I mean, you're in a snake pit here, sweetheart, and it is sucking the life right out of you. Don't, don't lie to me. It really doesn't matter if you've been occupying yourself with others. You know damn well there's never been anyone else but me. I mean, not really. Not the way we loved. That's not the kind of love you just leave behind. I mean, look at me, baby. I'm unforgettable. And in your own way, so are you. <laughs> you may think that you've changed into a fine, respectable citizen, but I see the monster I love all chained up inside you. I've seen flashes of that monster from the moment you opened the door and I started speaking. That monster, my monster, wants out. And I want to let it out. Do you remember that barn on Black River Road? I don't think we left one inch of that place untarnished. I know that was the first moment that I seeped into your skin. <laughs> and you can't get rid of me. What's more, I don't think you really want to. You've wanted to push me up against the wall and slip your tongue into my mouth from the moment I waltz through your door, haven't you? I know it. I can feel it. So, um, what the hell are you waiting for then, outlaw? Oh, sorry. I suppose I can't really call you that anymore since you started living this velvet, plush-lined lifestyle. Mm. There you are. Mm. That's the one I left behind. I was made to irritate you. I was made to make you mad. And that really gets to you, doesn't it? <sighs> Come on, doesn't it feel nice to feel something other than boredom? I mean, I've never bored you, have I, sweetheart? Didn't think so. A lady can tell, after all. And right now... I can tell you find me very interesting. So, what do you say? Will you ride with me? Then mount up. We've got us a bank to rob. <laughs>